Hey everyone, Father Dean here. I'm at the beautiful Charles Jensen Memorial Botanical Garden here in Fair Oaks, California. It's a nice day out. The air quality is a lot better than what it was uh, last week. You know, a lot of stuff going on in, in the world right now, but it's just a nice day to go out for, for a walk. And, and I'm happy that you're all able to, to join me. You know, a couple of weeks ago, my sister and I were talking on the phone about all the stuff going on and how it's hard to remain hopeful. You know, looking at what my two beautiful nieces have to go through right now with, with the distance learning and the adjustments in their schedules realizing the impact that all this is having on our parish community and, our, and family and my own personal family the the stress of politics and the election and everything happening with that then you add on the wildfires and the smoke especially here in california and oregon and washington uh, it's been it's been a hard few weeks very very difficult few weeks and i can definitely understand why it can be so difficult to maintain hope looking at everything going around it almost seems like the the world is is falling apart i've also had several people over the past month or so ask father dean is this the end all of this happening is it somehow a sign of the end times that we should be getting ready to you know call Call it the uh, proverbial day here uh, in this universe. And I can understand why those types of thoughts can come up too. Because of everything going on and everything happening in our world and our society. It doesn't really matter whether or not the end is tomorrow. What matters is what's in here. Have we lived lives of faith, hope, and charity? Have we responded to the call of God to love him and serve him and to love and serve our fellow human being. Have we developed lives that are centered on our Lord Jesus Christ and on spreading the gospel message? These are the things that really matter. Not whether or not tomorrow is the end. Although I can understand that that can be a scary prospect, of course. Uh, I'd be lying if I said I wouldn't be, you know, a bit scared if I found out that, you know, our, our Lord was coming again uh, tomorrow or an hour from now. Uh, but at the same time, I'd be okay with that because what really matters is whether or not we're ready in here. Because I guarantee you, my friends, our own personal ends are very likely going to come much sooner than the end of everything what if this is the end whether it's our personal end or the end of all things what if it is the end that might cause people some fright in terms of oh my gosh what comes next well we need to maintain that hope we can never lose hope and and there's a scene in the lord of the rings uh, especially in the movies that was translated particularly well between Gandalf and Pippin, talking about the end of all things and death and what comes next. Uh, well, let me just show you the scene right here and then we'll, we'll chat a little bit about it. I think it's uh, very appropriate for some of this sense of hopelessness that we might have in today's world. think it would end this way. End? No, the journey doesn't end here. Death is just another path. One that we all must take. The grey rain curtain of this world rolls back and all turns to silver glass. And then you see it. And health. See what? White shores. And beyond. The far green country. A 
to a swift sunrise. It wasn't so bad. Gray rain curtains pull back, revealing a far green country. Such a beautiful image. One of one of my favorite scenes in all of the movies. And Gandalf's words to Pippin, I think, give a sense of hope. Hope that no matter what's happening in our world right now, there there's something to look forward to. Now, of course. Christian theology, Christian soteriology, uh, is a little bit different than, than Gandalf's vision. But I can definitely relate to that sense of hope that Gandalf has in this scene. Realizing that even if everything cr is crumbling around us, even if there may be no reason for hope here on this earth, there is still reason for hope in the world to come. Yeah, times are tough right now. We're going through a lot. But together, if we can all try to be little islands of hope in our communities and work together, we can make a profound difference. And in the end, remember the words of St. Julian of Norwich. All will be well. All will be well. My friends, things really will be well if we simply trust in the grace and mercy of our Lord. God bless you all. I look forward to our next walk together. And may we continue to pray for one another in this crazy world that we're living in right now. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.